Hey guys, and welcome back to Oxygen Not Included, Clay's Amazing Space Colony Simulator Extraordinaire. My name is Twitchy, and we are in the Rock for the Brains, a collection of asteroids out in the wilds of space. We've been trying to get our duplicates into the future as comfortably as possible. 14 of the little guys and girls have been walking around and doing their greatest to survive, despite my best efforts to try and kill them. I really have been doing uh, wonders here. The whole bottom of the, uh, the base is flooded with chlorine. We can't grow food, ah, but we're going to ignore this place because the Lagolia. We've been having a much uh, much more terrible time over here. We've got a whole bunch of fried mushrooms and this is good, but we're starting to run out of slime to feed the mushroom. Now, we do have slime everywhere around where we can dig up and uh, just dump it straight onto these dust caps over here, but I think it would be much better if we could come along and maybe clear out a purpose-built space for farming things called puffs. If we come over to Pyax, then a small tour around, we have a bunch of puffs over here and we have recently expanded their stable here so that we can have them not be overcrowded hopefully produce a bunch of eggs and be able to throw the eggs back at let me just put these tiles across the top here and actually break these ones down I just had a thought actually that if we do this this is five tiles here five tiles here that's gonna balance it out keep us the same size but make the room a little bit more square but yes we're gonna grab some uh, eggs from these puffs over here and fire it over to Blogolia where hopefully we should be able to build a nice little uh, set of stables above well, we're gonna put them above toilets actually First thing we need to do though is uh, move this pug slug. Mo move this pug slug. I think I think I'm just going to dump it over here. If I if I grab this food, this critter drop off, we're going to pop that one there. Uh, I'm going to put a door down right here, and then we've got a nice little sealed unit to keep him into. I was considering breaking in here, but uh, I I've got a feeling if I get in there and we let this guy loose, we're just going to end up killing it somehow. So let let's try and avoid that if we can. Uh, I'm also going to put down one of of those critter relocation critter drop-off points there uh, let's put down a door mm, let's put it here and then we'll put some ladders down in fact do I really want to put it there or do I want to put it here and then we can dig out the area or rather we can replace the door uh, without letting the pug slug free yeah that that might be the way to do it Goddard, Faraday, and Swan Levitt are the duplicates of choice over here on Blagolia. Uh, these guys got themselves a power network set up and got themselves a little bit of a fishing pond. Uh, and then we abandoned them for a little bit. So now, now we need to make good on uh, what I'm going to call the technical debt of just ignoring the, the base for a little bit. Uh, we're just going to go around and make sure that the food can, keep, can be sustainable. More sustainable than we had it. Another thing that I'm going to do, and something that's really just going to be ticking over in the back, background is trying to make sure all the lava gets filtered down into this magma chamber over here. We've been slowly but surely removing little tiles. Uh, when this tile gets removed, someone comes along and builds this tile in the corner here and we get a nice little cycle of pushing the magma up, up, up. That's beautiful. Oh, look, Rutherford, what's he got here in his hand? Uh, it looks like he's got a little bit of obsidian. We're coming down to build this ladder so we can dig out this area. Yeah, we're just going to slowly but surely eat away all the the ledges that are holding uh, uh, magma up in the air uh, and try and drop it all down. I would like to also, maybe now that we're starting to fill this up uh, more completely, come along and remove some of these tiles and try and get this little patch pushed up here and maybe even let's get this ladder start working our way down here so that we can open this area up and let the magma free because we're just gonna leave this ticking over in the background rutherford's just gonna go around and do the jobs that needs are doing in fact so i think we're gonna have to go as far as to put down more ladders here. I'm a little bit worried when I put them that close to the uh, to the magma that maybe he'll stand on the edge and then get burnt whilst it's happening. Yeah, I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll see what happens. Hopefully someone's going to come along and do this. Is this actually just boar coming along to do the uh, the insulated tiles here? Normally it's Rutherford, but I will take anybody. Anyway, back over on Blagolia. Doors have been built. Let's try and dig this open here. Man, all these pakus. They really kind of need to go down into the, uh, the pond to be of any use, but you know what? I think we're fine. 
just noticed we've got two Pakus in the breeding chamber here. We shouldn't have two Pakus at any time. So we're going to try and kill the larger one if that is at all possible. I don't know whether people can reach it because obviously there's a locked door here. That's all part of the process. We have a breeding chamber and then we have the uh, the fooding chamber over here. Uh, this side we make eggs and they all get dumped down on this little vent here. This door is closed when there are uh, Paku in the breeding chamber so they can jump over this way or open if not so they can refill the uh, refill the stocks. Goddard is having troubles. I think I think he's okay. I think he's okay. Oh, uh, it's, it's the combat that he can't actually get to. Okay, I mean, well, is this good? Is that... Well, he's gonna start taking a little bit of damage. In fact, he's just hanging around. I think we might even get a Paku fillet uh, out of this one. Doesn't look like so. Can anything in the printing pod for us? Not really. Let's uh, let's get the Swamp Child Heart. A little bit of food always goes down well. Swan Levitt come along to finish the job. Brutal. Can this pick that food up? It can't. That's a shame. I kind of wanted to die over here. Uh, sweet. I don't know whether my duplicates are going to be able to get in to get that. Let's, let's, let's build some ladders and see if that helps. Oh no, Faraday got it. Okay. Uh, good, good reach. Good reach. Okay, so now that we've dug this area out, auto wrangle, bring that down to zero, and then all the way over here, we want this one. Uh, it is already accepting pug slugs. I already set that up just as we've done it. Cycle 1300, amazing, wonderful. We've definitely been playing this for some time, as is evidenced by the way that just about everything is breaking down. Ah, oh, Swan Levitt, you're going for your tea break rather than finishing the job I set you. Okay, I mean, I suppose that's fine. I suppose. Whilst we watch the Duplants go along and prepare the ground for this brand new endeavour, I would like to take this moment right here and thank the people who are the very foundation of this channel. That's right, my Patrons. Scrolling up the screen right now, you will see a list of names, a list of names of the guys and girls that have gone along to patreon.com forward slash twitchy and made a monthly monetary donation to make sure that me and my channel can continue on into the future as comfortably as the Duplicants are. So, very, so from the very bottom of my heart, Thank you. Thank you so much. And why, pray tell, are people just standing around when there's so much to do? I just thought, oh, I don't, I don't know, I don't know. All right, so now that we've got this area cleared out, we can start ripping down all of the buildings. It's going to be a shame to, to lose this little natural area here. I do like to try and preserve them if at all possible, but uh, it's it's not possible here. We, we, need to, we need to expand. We need to progress. The future, it needs to happen. Oh, Swan Levitt has managed to trap herself. I think I think we can deal with that, and I'm also going to deal with that by building some uh, some ladders across the top here, like this. Probably should have left that one that she just destroyed, but I think I think we'll be fine. Good, yeah, good work, good work. I do like dropping them, uh, and also the people that are like trapped on little bits of rock. That's also fine because they're going to drop themselves like that as well, which is which is kind of good. Which is kind of good. Look, Faraday's going to do it again, or is he going to just jump down? No, he he lets himself fall. Okay, brilliant, brilliant. Uh, just trying to e empty out this entire area here. I'm fairly sure that we're going to br bring one wall down this way. But I think that the other one should be over here. And this gives us a space of, let's have a look. Is it an odd number? It's not. It's an even number. I would prefer an odd number. Maybe let's just bring it to to here then. Bam, bam. Uh, and the, the reason I would prefer an odd number is we can then split it in half and have two separate areas. Uh, we've got both of them being nine tiles wide is that right nine this side nine this side beautiful 96 divided by nine is like like 10 and a bit but ten, 10 10 and a third okay so what we're going to need to do is go 11 down uh, 96 of course being the size of a uh if we come up and have a look at the stable the maximum size stable we can have is 96 tiles and i would like to have the maximum size stable that we can have now i don't want to put down real t uh full tiles here i want to put airflow tiles down because underneath we're going to have the uh, the items that make this entire thing possible we're gonna fill this whole area up with outhouses watch me do it I'm crazy I'm crazy here we go wow yeah 
Beautiful, beautiful. And why do I want all these? Well, I want a renewable source of polluted oxygen. If we come over to Irrigal, you can see these little guys here. Back when we were getting Irrigal up and running, cleaning the toilets wasn't the highest of priorities. I know personal failing should definitely have concentrated on that above a few other things. This has now been resolved. Hubble uh, does come along and do this. But whilst they were not being cleaned, these morbs got created. Now, I like these morbs. A lot of people don't, but I think they're great. They produce a bunch of polluted oxygen every so often, as you can see, frequently excretes bursts of polluted, uh, polluted oxygen. Uh, get, gives you a little decor bonus, which is nice, but more importantly is the polluted oxygen. Polluted oxygen when eaten by, let's go over to Pi Accident and have a look at the puffs down here. Uh, if they eat the polluted oxygen, they excrete some slime. And of course, slime is what I'm after to feed the dust caps. Indeed, we're out of slime again. Oh no, oh no. Hopefully, whilst we are digging all this area out, maybe, maybe we can get a little bit of slime from here, here, and here. Um, ju just enough to see us through. That's going to drop into the water and we're never going to see it again, right? I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> Now, of course, this does mean one of the first things I need to do is make sure that my duplicates make these toilets nice and dirty. Uh, but that, I, that, that shouldn't be difficult, right? That's that's a relatively simple task to perform. Hey, when did, when did this bust through? Must have lost some uh, polluted mud or something like that, uh, outgassing to the environment and it, it eroded itself away. I, I'm guessing that's what happened there. I think I'm going to have two modes of entry to these places. Let's go there and there. Uh, let's delete all of these. You know what? I, don't, well, I mean, we do need those. Wait, 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 wait. I'm being a little bit hasty here. What I don't need is this one, these two, that tile there, and I've already deleted a few other tiles. Uh, destroy that, and let's make ways through for our duplicates, because of course, if our duplicates can't get through, how are they going to build anything? My real question, of course, is where am I going to be putting, uh, let's have a look in, is it in the food or is it in the stations? I think it's in the stations. Uh, the grooming station. Where, where am I going to put it? I could put it up here next to these doors. I mean, that would, that would be pretty good. I'm guessing my duplicates are going to be coming from this side mostly. They, they tend to go up and down this corridor here. So maybe we'll pop one here. Um, or we could have one down at the bottom. I'm, I'm not sure. I'm probably going to go for up high. But if you think that's the wrong idea, you, you know, let me know. I'd, li I'd like to know. <laughs> Back with the lava, we have managed to pop holes in the top. We've also managed to reach over here. That was unexpected, but, but but cool, but cool. I can live with that. I can live with that. Now, my next question is, are we going to drop the lava? I think we are. We're going to drop the magma from, from these two here because it's only a single bit of obsidian to dig through. Uh, just got to pop down more ladders to continue the destruction here. Uh, we're going to deconstruct this tile as well, rebuild this one over here, and then I think we're actually going to wipe out these two layers uh, and start working our way this way. Now, there's going to be a lot of hot stuff here that we need to take into account. Uh, I'm just going to fill this up like this, and then as we are filling the area up, uh, we will like de deconstruct and build as we're going. But again, that's that's background stuff. I'll just I'll just call in every now and then and let you guys know how it is rolling. Uh, talking of Irigao, everything going okay over here. Most Mostly going fine. All the liquid pipes have been connected up. We're waiting for just a little bit more steel to come over. Oh, look, actually, over here, if we empty that storage, that 200 kilograms should open this up. And then our cooling loop will be up and running. Oh, wait. Wait, there's a significant portion of our cooling loop <laughs> missing here. We can, we, we can fix this, though, by putting down a few build orders. That was a perfect piece of pipe work there. I don't know why you would think otherwise. Uh, let's have a quick look. We are going this way around the loop. There, I did also notice there was another problem, but most importantly, that means the bridge will be that way around. This, this is the next problem. How do we solve this particular issue? I think we solve it by going in like this and noting that actually this is all granite and Hubble needs to dig that. Hubble can't dig, uh, Hubble can't build so I can't put a build order but Hubble is also the only person who can dig the uh, the tough materials which uh, it's, it's awkward I should I should probably try and fix that at some point. Anyway back to Blagovia. Toilets are going well. Taking a little while though. Taking a little while. 
Oster Furious building continues on Blagolia. Let's go and have a look and see what's going on on Play Excellent. Yeah, cold damage keeps happening on our pipes there. I'm wondering if we can actually send. So it was this steam line coming here. We've got a we've got an industrial box here. I never intended this to be full of steam, but unfortunately the temperature has reached up to a high enough point where it's vaporizing the polluted water into steam. Not ideal, but you know it should be able to deal with it. We've got a couple of pumps up top which are filtering off all the uh, the waste gases most of them are coming down here but the steam gets filtered out this way and i'm wondering if we could actually send it up into this steam box here because i keep taking the steam for the rocket which we are sending off to the ore field to grab um cobalt ore Indeed, let's quickly have a look and see how much st lo lo loads of room remaining. Uh, so yeah, I wonder whether I can d dump that in there. Let's go ventilation, high pressure, pop that there. Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we'll deconstruct this, this corner. The problem we've got is this now turns off this pump... And the, the, I think I think we should be fine with that. I think we should be fine with that. But more importantly, how are we taking these gases? That's not where we're going. We want to go up this way. I think we're going to have to go. I think we're going to have to go. I want to try and keep this route as short as possible. I could either come across and up this way, which is not ideal. That that's quite a quite a dog leg. Or we could jump over the pipe here if we if we do this gas bridge. I want this to be super high priority, super super high priority. Let's let them work on it in the background, uh, and then we can jump things up like this. And that that's a little bit better. That is, that is definitely better. Rutherford is scolding. Wait, why is Rutherford scolding? Ah, that's fine. That's fine. We can live with this. Uh, we are trying to dig through the side, but unfortunately, the obsidian here is going to be super, super, super hot. Uh, so hopefully, we can get bore on this as well. Okay, he's just going to go catch his breath and cool down. Okay, that that's fine. Do we not have oxygen? No, we don't. We don't have things swapping. I'm also going to mop that as soon as we can. Rutherford having a great time for someone who's taking some serious heat damage, but you know. As long as he's having a good time, that's that's the important bit, right? And there are some serious issues here. Hopefully, when this all goes in place, he'll be much better off. We don't want those on super high priorities. We do want them on high priorities, those as well, please. Ideally, they should all be on nine because, you know, they're very important that when we take these tiles out, uh, the insulated tiles around it get built as quick as possible i'm not sure about this bottom layer here i guess i guess we could just ignore that uh we could just walk across it and be happy and dandy i i sure do hope i sure do hope uh but more importantly like the, these mopping orders here i want to i want to swap out this uh this horrible carbon dioxide that we've got in polluted oxygen for the fresh oxygen that we've got down below fresh and chilled oxygen that we have down below i'm just gonna set up quite a few mop orders no, I say quite a few. Just these few mop orders to uh, to try and clear up the uh, the gas flow here. Rutherford gonna do it? No, no. All right. Well, well, we'll just trust that that's going on. Blagolia, how are you doing? We've got some built, not a great deal. So let's continue going around. Era Gal, we've now got all of the pipes in place by the looks of it. Okay, we've got a complete circular network here. Do we have the pad? We do not have the what, what, What's going on? I'm just going to hit the go button here and hopefully someone will go along and do this. But salt water, it has a specific heat capacity of 4.1. This is like how much, how much energy it absorbs to go up by 1 degree C. So 4.1 whatever the energy units are. 4.179 for regular water. You know what? That's close enough for me to say that they are equivalent uh, i'm going to where am i going to dump this this pump i want i want to i want to put a pump down here so that we can fill up this water line oh, more, more more problems are happening elsewhere but that's fine for now turn that around like so mm, do we just go straight up from here i think i think i'm going to destroy this ladder you know all of this actually needs to go because it's deep underwater and it's not doing anybody any good there keep the ladder We'll come back when they've been destroyed. I'm going to put down a pump, and we're going to pump pump some salt water in. Do I have the power? Uh, we can make the power. 
whilst we've been talking, this interplanetary payload has been opened. Man, these insulated gas pipes really are having troubles over here. F7, let's have a look. It's because we kind of just left it sat around for a little while. I guess that's actually good that it happened like that because it reminded me all about it. Totally hadn't forgotten at all. That that doesn't sound like me. Why, why would you even, even say that? All right, pop down that last bit of pipe and that should then hopefully give us everything that we need to keep this all running. Is this still un mm, unreachable there? That's a little bit... That's beyond unfortunate. That is beyond unfortunate. How do we make sure that can happen? I'm going to pop down some ladders and see if that helps. I, it might not. It might do. We'll, we'll find out. I honestly think I need to be coming from the other side. I wonder if I can drop some... Uh, am, I, am I about to say this? I wonder if I can drop some liquids on top of this and then take out the tile underneath and use a liquid instead of a tile. Yeah, that that doesn't at all sound like it's going to be a bad idea. Let's give it a go, though. Let's give it a go. I don't know what liquids I've got that I can pick up. I mean, water seems like a bad idea. Like, uh, 200 degrees, we need something that can handle the 200 degree heat. Kind of really only leaves us with petroleum or crude oil as our options. I'm probably going to go for petroleum because that is the one that will not change or go funky in uh, excessive heat. You know, 500 degrees it changes, but I, th I think that's fine. I think that's fine. Curie's on her way to fix this. It does take a little bit of a while. Why is this no nothing set up? Okay, that that's fine. Do you have no lice loaf? Is that not something that you build over here? Then why do we even have this existing? I don't know. I don't know. Okay, waiting for the next day seems a little bit safer. So this next morning, I've got a deconstruct ordered and we've got about oh man all of these yellow alerts are exactly why we're trying to do this we've got 200 kilograms of petroleum in a tile i really hope this goes well i really really do i i don't see any way of it going bad. No, that's a lie i see many ways of it going bad mostly from this steam being blown out the side but we'll, we'll see what happens all right here we go i should i mean i guess i guess we saved in the morning I guess we saved in the morning. Okay. Uh, oh, so far, so good. So far, so good. Let's put this up to super high priorities. Get that fixed as quickly as possible. And I, I really do mean pretty pretty sharpish, if at all possible. Uh, I think we're not going to melt any of the the lead. Is that, is that something we're going to do? Melting point 300. Okay, no, we should, we should be fine now. We should be fine. Hopefully someone's coming along with that lead. I don't know. Is it, is it Maxwell? Is Maxwell here to save the day? Kind of. He is having a little bit of an allergic reaction, though. At some point, we should build him some, some more antihistamines. I don't know whether we've run out or, or what. Uh, I'm also going to go ahead now and uh, put, put down this tile. I think we're ready to start filling everything back in. I think, I think that might be where we are at. Okay, if that's the case, I'm going to take the bottle emptier down as well. I think this kind of went well. This could have, could have gone a lot worse than it actually did. Uh, okay, th th yeah, this is good. High pressure vent is in place. Just now need to get everything else built. Okay, and we are sealed off. I think we're going to choose... Uh, think of this as a workable solution as soon as this pipe here gets repaired that that's that's the only thing we're waiting for now I, i'm surprised that they were just kind of like at the end of a jump normally the problems happen at the beginnings of the jumps okay so now are things rolling now things are moving and hopefully going along to increase the pressure here i don't know whether the high pressure vent uh, has an upper limit to its pressure but I think this should now be working out a lot better. Think things aren't going to be uh, held in containment for anywhere near as long. And uh, as long as we keep using the gas for the rockets, it shouldn't lead to an explosive situation. Oh man, looking forward to three or four episodes time when this explodes, yeah? Let's uh, let's talk about the rocket, go and check and make sure it's still got room in. Wait, wait, quick again. Uh, halfway through its uh, its cargo bay, that's cool. Irigao, how are we doing over here? Did we destroy the stuff? We did destroy the stuff. Beautiful. Uh, plumbing, let's go get a liquid pump just just one of those we'll slam that down there that's a bit off center but you know what i don't 
I don't think I really mind. Uh, we're going to put down these wires, uh, these pipes, sorry, and then these wires. I don't know why in that order in particular, but that's the order things have happened in. And hopefully once all this gets done, as you can see, Spitzer is immediately on making sure it does happen. Uh, we should be able to fill up this, uh, this, this whole water loop here and start cooling this place down so that we can finally get our farms up and running. That's, that's kind of what it's all about. It's getting the farms up and running. Speaking of farms over on Blagolia, I mean the floors are being put in place now. I mean this is nice. They've started getting down the uh, the ladders that I wanted as well. Nobody building the outhouses yet. That's unfortunate because we're then going to have to disable all of these toilets and just let people start building up germs down here, which I think we should be okay with. I don't think that's going to be the biggest of problems. I do wonder if I can build myself a little bit of an airlock here to stop the polluted oxygen escaping or if that's even even necessary. Maybe we just need to build a deodorizer outside the front door. That that might also work. Okay, I think I'm going to do it again on reverse then we're going to we're going to take down another couple of tiles. We just need to squidge all of this up and out of the top. Okay, this is cool magma doing well there. We got an atmospheric suit come over and have a look and see how these ladders are doing. I think this might be the point where we start spreading out and reaching for different areas. Of course, try and let all of this free is going to be quite the interesting endeavor. I think maybe taking, I mean, we can pre pre-select the dig. Taking that out is probably going to be uh, a key part of this equation. I, I hope anyway, I hope anyway. Uh, let's try and move a little bit closer to or who? Rutherford, of course. Yeah, no, this is fine. This is expected as long... Rutherford, please. No. No. These ones so much more important. So actually, these need to go down to eight. Uh, Rutherford, stop. <laughs> He's trying to dig out the abyssal... Rutherford, stop. He's trying to dig out the abyssalite underneath the tile um, that holds all the magma. I'm not about that. Uh, I really want someone to come along and fill this one in. No one seems to want to do it. Why? Okay, we appear to have an actual issue here. Nothing's being done about this and we're leaking heat all the time. Uh, can I can I do it this way? Will someone okay, someone's coming now. Rather go, go, go. Thank you very, very much. I wonder what went wrong with that. I don't I don't actually know. I, I feel like it was just something Rutherford's gonna have such a bad time. Let's uh let's cue him up for the bed. It looks like Boar could also do with a little bit of bed rest. Okay, that, that that's fine. But whilst this needs to happen, this this really needs to happen. Uh, 200 degree C uh, oxygen over here. No wonder they're having troubles. No wonder they're having troubles. Hopefully he'll get this done before Boar has to come and rescue him. Uh, that would be unfortunate. All right, cool. Okay, then we've just got some very hot insulated tile. Uh, insulated. No, a bit like to worry about, which I shouldn't be leaking its heat but uh i don't i don't know if i trust it okay the toilets are built but as you can see by my uh resource tracker on the right hand side we don't have any puffed eggs over here we can solve this at pi axlin let's just ignore all those repairs that need to go on because there is indeed at least one puff egg ready to go uh do we have any more let's have a look in here i'm just going to type the word egg in and we will find it right there no we, we only have the one for the moment that is fine i'm sure one of them must be oh, cramped because because of that one egg, of course, of course. I'm going to come over to this little module here. Ooh, ooh, this is this is a lot worse off than I thought it was. But and we're, we're going to try and like tidy this up a little bit and use this as the uh, the transport for our for our egg. In fact, I'm going to pop an automatic dispenser on the floor first and foremost. Uh, then we're going to get ourselves a little bit of an air scrubbing unit. I need to uh, pump some gases out of here just like that will do fine. Uh, let's let the uh, the time roll for that because duplicates will come along and fix those. Okay, yeah, that's this is all looking pretty good. Uh, no food in this fridge at the moment. Maybe if we turn it up we can get some more. Uh, over here, Pyax, uh, I suppose I could change 
change this to the... No, 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 no. We'll, we'll, we'll take the other one. Why would we have two two rockets if we don't make use of them? Uh, another thing I think I want to do, I don't know whether I've got any ice here, is look in utilities, temperature shift plate, scroll down and find... No, I don't, I don't have any ice here. That is unfortunate. I would have liked to have cooled this area down just a little bit, but I guess we'll make do with this as we are only going to Blagolia and back. Talking of Blagolia, yep, everything is working out fine. We're dumping all of the organic matter down here. Polluted dirt, polluted mud, rot pile and slime so that we can get as much outgassing as possible. I suppose what we could do is if I was feeling super keen, get a mesh tile throw that across the bottom and then have a little false tray of a base here uh, and then empty this all out and fill it with polluted water what button did I press to make that happen uh, and then fill it with polluted water I, I think that that could work in fact if we just take this out here and try and dig it out we can we can actually get a little little trough going from over there that that'd be nice definitely got areas where we could do with pumping some of the liquids up from uh, on the outside of the rocket, we're venting uh, various gases out to space. That's pretty cool. Mostly from the uh, carbon dioxide on the inside, trying to desperately get rid of all of that. But about back on the outside, uh, you remember we're having problems with steam. Turns out the uh, the high pressure gas vent does have an overpressure. Um, uh, pressure so we we need to try a different different track and what I'm going to try is a condensation box uh, I'm going to run a cooling unit through here this does mean once again diverting a whole bunch of liquids here let's just cut that there and then anything that gets stuck can go up and round to cool this box down relatively chill not not too chill but relatively chill so that when all of the uh, the, the steam that gets put that will be pumped up into here like so uh, it could share it amongst the two. I would ideally like it to try here first and then if that can't do that come over to the condensation box but you know we'll think about that for the future. It will let out the uh, the liquids here, the water here which will then condense into, into liquid, pick up by this liquid pipe and then I'm not sure we, we can probably get it over here to the tank is that what we want? Is there anywhere more local we could use it? That That's really the question. Could we in fact dump it in on this line give give this one priority like down like so uh, and then use a liquid bridge to pop on extra yeah I, th I think this should work no that's the wrong way around <laughs> Okay, this should work. So the, the liquid gets picked up, dropped down the line, and fills in through the pipe. If there is nothing coming from that, then the bridge will uh, give it the extra liquid from the tank. Okay, yeah, that, that should work when, when this gets done. You know what? I'm going to uh, high priority all of that. Okay, the condensation station is up and running. It's all cooling down as we speak, and there should be at some point some gases coming. Oh, wow, okay, we, we've got a bit of a backup with various other gas processing. I guess this is all just, yeah, waiting to be processed. Okay, that's that's fine. We can, we can wait for that, I suppose. It's a shame because we were just getting a handle on the steam, and now, now it turns out the polluted oxygen is taking over. Where's the polluted oxygen even coming from? The polluted water down below, maybe? Yeah, maybe. Okay, the pufflet egg has been delivered, but we still have a lot of carbon dioxide that we're trying to pump out of here. So I think another thing I might do is ask for the polluted dirt. Also, I'm getting a whole bunch of food delivered over here. But yeah, I might ask for a whole bunch of polluted dirt to be delivered because one, we can put it down at the bottom of the Blagolian um, puffed farm. Uh, but also, every time we've been going to get a whole bunch of cobalt ore, uh, yeah, here we go. There, there's like... 13 tons and 24 tons. There's the best part of 40 tons of polluted dirt right there. So if we, if we could just kind of deliver that, I think I think that would be pretty cool as well. Of course, now we've got the you've not swept it issue. Okay, let's uh, let's click sweep only. Let's go back outside. Let's uh, let's let's hit sweep on that. Okay, cool. Okay, but much better, much, much better. Okay, 18 tons, uh, tw 20 tons maybe, I reckon, by the time we're done with this. Yeah, tw 21 tons of polluted dirt should be enough to take with us. This is, however, going to fill this place up with polluted oxygen. I don't think I'm bothered by that. 
Oh, I, I'm a fool. I'm a fool. I didn't want a mesh tile here. I wanted to put more airflow tiles down. We don't want the water to come up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, um, I am a fool, but one that can check stuff occasionally. <laughs> Okay, this seems good enough for me. We, we've got breathing room. Let's change the crew to Plank Not Curie. Uh, we're going to be going to Blagolia, the no rocket platform. That one over there, beautiful, beautiful. It should be ready and accepting for us. Uh, and then we go uh, crew. And can we? We can't launch from here, unfortunately. That's that's a little bit unfortunate. Oh, there was a specific rocket platform. Is it three one three? Is that the specific platform I want to land on? It's this one over here, three one three. I wish we could. Can we rename this? Okay. All right. This is this is um, heat capture pad. Okay. That that should now remind me that this is the one that we're going for at all times. Uh, Plank already complaining about the fact that he can't breathe, but you know what? He's just going to have to deal with that because he is the only one who can... Uh, well, we don't even have any uh, warnings to acknowledge. Let's go, go, go. Going to the heat capture pad, but more importantly, delivering the puff over to our good friends in another world. Go, go, go. Along goes the rocket. A uh, surprise still that we've not melted any of these plastic tiles. There's a definite like 48, 49. Uh, I think they melt somewhere relatively... Oh, 150. Okay, so, I mean, we, we could get there. Maybe three rocket launches in a row, four rocket launches in a row. That would uh, that would melt everything down. How long is it going to take for us to travel and go see our good friends? Just less than half a cycle. Okay, beautiful, beautiful. Back over on Blagolia. How are things going over here? Um, uh, yeah, not too bad. Let's put down a little bit of a pump. Where where are you? Liquid pump. I don't care what you make it out of. I'm going to pop it down in this corner here. I'm going to get a regular pipe. Doesn't really matter. I could make it out of any others, but this is the, uh, the cheapest and the fastest to build. Come up, be in line roughly with the liquid output. There we go. Beautiful. Now we should be able to start just pumping out some, uh, some liquids here. Oh, I didn't want to press that skills. I wanted to press... There we go, the uh, the sweep. So you might remember me saying that we needed a stable of 96 tiles. And if we have a look, we've got 9 by 11. That's 99 tiles. Uh, we have three tiles that we need to fill up. And it's quite easy to do that. We do one, two, three. But as simple, simple as that. Uh, I'm going to also come into the... It's not food. We already, we already learned this. It's in the stations. Grooming station. Pop that down there. And I guess we're going to want some sort of crip, critter drop-off and capture at some point. Because ideally... we be making enough puffs here that we can fill up both ranches uh, and now do I want to put this one by the door or do I want to put this one by this door it's it's hard to call it I think I'm gonna go this side and assume that all my duplicates are gonna be walking in this way uh, it's quite the assumption It is quite the assumption but I think we're fine to go with it okay uh, that will, will that do I, I sure do hope so I sure do hope so Oh, Plank has arrived completely on uh, th this this was not expected at all. Okay, cool. That that that's cool. That's cool. Uh, I suppose the next thing we need to do where did he even get here? Like I thought I've, all I've been doing is tidying stuff up and I built a small power station down the bottom for the the liquid pump. Man, okay, all right, fine. Uh we need to get uh, another automatic dispenser. We need to pop it down here. I really want that to be done now. Uh and is Plank just like hiding inside here? Yeah, well, uh, he's eating. Okay, I mean, fair, I suppose. If we set all of these polluted dirt to sweep, hopefully over time, people will come down and uh, put them in this automatic dispenser under here. That's, that's my hope. That is my hope. Uh, in here, we want critter egg. We want puffler egg. I don't think anyone's going to bring it if I do that. Uh, no, no, no. This wrong, wrong time of day. Okay, Plank is back. Is he going to be able to, like, deliver this egg for me, though? No, Faraday is. Okay, that that's great. Plank, what, what, what are you doing, mate? What, what are you even involving yourself with? Storing gold amalgam. It would be nicer if you could have stored this lot over here. But okay, fine. That That's that's good. That's good. Uh, who is moving the egg? Fa well, I mean, we know Faraday is moving the egg, but where are they? Here they are. Okay, it's going to take them a little bit of a while. A little bit of a while. But I think we can just wait that one out. I mean, I say wait that one out. Of course, I'm going to hit the uh, the fast forward button. Here comes our first puff. Look beautiful. Also, now need to really kind of 
get these going much faster. That that that's also kind of important. Max six auto wrangle, and we ideally want squeaky puff, but we'll take all the other regular puffs as well. No, 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 it's not squeaky puffed here. It's squeaky puff somewhere else. <laughs> it's just regular puffs here that we want. We want that slime. Squeaky puffs over here on on by accident down the bottom. Look, but we 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 never get them. But this this is where we want them. So I should totally have made this two tiles deep so that a duplicate can get in there. At the moment, I have to make sure that they build it one tile at a time, which is a little tedious, let me tell you, because if they manage to build this tile in front of this other one, they cannot reach over. So I, I, I need to make sure that this happens in this manner, which yeah, it, it's, it's very slow. Thankfully, someone seems to have gone around and done a whole bunch of delivering. Uh, may, maybe that was the end of that particular bit of bad luck, but someone occasionally goes around and does all the delivering as you can see that they carry more than they need for the one particular job uh, and that enables us to, uh, to to get more than one done quickly but oh it's uh, it's still taking time okay we've got a little incubation station set up over here an incubator and a critter drop off as well as a little time schedule to make sure that things happen just a little bit every day let's uh, bring that active duration right down to about there we don't need to have too much more and you can see from the pufflet egg now if we come over to here uh it should have said lullaby it's not lullaby why is it not that quick let's uh, let's expand that back out why are you not lullaby Hopefully, just because, yeah, Swan Leather got a little bit distracted. No big problems there. We're just going to let that run through, and then hopefully we should be able to see the status. Lullaby. Brilliant. Incubation rate up 400%. Amazing. Okay, last two pipes going into place. Beautiful. We should now be drinking up a whole bunch of this polluted water here. That's nice. That's nice. Going to dump it down here. I have warned, I have realised, sorry, that the carbon dioxide is going to become a bit of an issue. I'm hoping that we just push it up into the toilet area and then it all uh, floods out. As opposed to, as it is right now, being trapped in between two layers. There's a layer of water right here stopping everything go through maybe we need to figure out something to do with all of that i mean ideally we drop it in for processing uh that that would be ideal let's see what's happening here i, I really want to see i mean there is some polluted oxygen going up into this central area it'd be nice if we could also see it drifting up into this area as well uh perhaps if we got more people involved Let, let's try that let's try that go 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 guys is this this gonna work out for us yeah maybe maybe we do definitely have to try and figure out how to get the carbon dioxide side specifically out of there but I'm hoping just the fact that the doors are at the bottom will let that out and the uh, polluted oxygen up we're starting to get a bit of hydrogen trapped there that could be an issue not sure if that's an issue I've got a solution for but that, that could be an issue Okay, this is going much better now. The toilet is becoming much more nasty down here. We've got a whole bunch of polluted water bottles that are hopefully going to be outgassing. It says zero at the moment, but they they will do so. They are not over pressure. So we should start to build up a fairly nice amount of um, polluted oxygen in here. Just waiting for the incubation to tick over. That, that really shouldn't take too long. Pufflet has hatched. Yeah, look at that. Oh, wait. <laughs> it looked like he had already been wrangled, but that was definitely not the case. Let's hit the remove, uh, and then hopefully someone can come over here and deal with that pretty sharpish. We've got... It's it's not pen status, okay? Why would you say it? Do we have to wait for this guy to grow up? That's, that's, a, few, that's a few cycles. I don't want to do that. <laughs> How about we open this door, open this door, and just wait and see what happens. <laughs> Okay, with the new day dawning, it's probably time to send Plank home. Uh, let, let's do that. Let's change our selected destination to Pyaxlin. Uh, hopefully as soon as he uh, arrives. Cargo fuel transfer. Is that the oxygen? No, the oxygen's good. I don't know what it says he's waiting for. It should have done it. it sh oh, wait. Building disabled. Enable building. How, how had that been disabled? Okay. Okay, thankfully Faraday coming along to correct this issue. The uh, the gases should be going in. I don't think we're waiting for too much, to be fair. I think that... Is that it? Or are we, like, under... under? It doesn't matter. That's fine. We'll, we'll just acknowledge these warnings. Oh, it's, that, it's telling me the launch sequence is ready. We're not loading at the moment. So let's go. Look at all that heat being dumped right down into my little steam box there. It's a shame that we... 
we kind of need to bring it down just a little bit more, but that is fine. Most of it is being harvested by the steed turbine. And goodbye, Plank. Thank you for your service of bringing this little pup. Yeah, I knew if we did that, that'd be fine. Hey, Paku, you're not supposed to be there. I'm sorry, mate. I'm sorry. Whilst the carnage goes on in the background, let's set up this uh, this ranch as well. Okay, we should have two good solid ranches for the production of slime now. I, I just I would really like to watch this person, this uh, this baby, make some slime, but I don't know whether they do that. I know the adults do, but do 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 the little children? Do, are you gonna are you gonna eat all this polluted oxygen that I've spent ages trying to make for you? How have all my puffs died over here? When? when what? How did that happen? What? Oh, no. I was like, I'm just going to go look over on the other puffs to make sure that, you know, that, see if there's any eggs that we can transport back over. And, um, oh, so, so, something, something's gone badly wrong. No pufflet eggs anywhere. Oh, my gosh. What happened? What happened? Uh, Arches of Wonder, can you... You can only give us a Sweetle, and the Sweetles belong over here. Let's just dump them down. Oh, it's going to be one of our future endeavours, is making a Sweetle Ranch on this side of the pond. I suppose all we can hope is that this little conservation uh, area does does a better job. Does a better job. Oh, he's he's eating some. He's eating some. This is good. Okay, good work. Good, get your get your forage on. This is what I like to see. Well, with the excess of food that we've got, the incubation program and the love of Swan Levitt, I am fairly sure that we are going to build up our puff population here. And I think with that, I'm going to say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure, ladies and gentlemen. I will see you guys next time when we're going to go around and try and do things such as expand out this area here. It says this is unreachable, but it's really not. Someone should be able to come and get it. Uh, why Why are you just making my area very hot here? That's That's bad, yo. That's bad. But we'll find areas like this. We'll also try and go around and finish off Irrigal. We have been chilling down. Look, we've got actual real millwood being produced now. Unfortunately, down below, the atmosphere, the chlorine is causing us trouble. So that is probably what we're going to deal with next time. So I'll see you then when we're going to do that. Bye.